the same way it's uh, the trunk and it is like you get you get rid of all these toxins inshallah if you're fat the proper way then it is, uh, it's uh, uh, like let's say a change of lifestyle after Ramadan you continue to get uh, uh, to get used to all whatever is beneficial for you and you abstain from uh, whatever is like fats and you know or um, harmful for your body but to maintain the detox process uh, d would you recommend the sunnah of uh, Monday and Tuesday? Like, like twice, tw this is a minimum of twice weekly or a minimum uh, okay, so or if you want you to if detox you can, if you can then at least three days three days uh, monthly you know the 13, 14, 15 they found that uh, we are really we are connected to the moon and when it is full moon uh, the body reacts with the, the water in inside the body uh, uh, undergo the phenomena of eventide like yes. the ocean so uh, they noticed in the, the research that the behavior you repeat this part the relation between the moon the and moon the body and the fasting during the 13th yes. 14th and 15th what, what is the relation? The relationship is the electromagnetic energy is uh, yes. affect it has an impact on on the water in yes. our body. Okay. Like it have an impact uh, an impact on the eventide, uh, on uh, uh, phenomena in uh, on the oceans and the rivers. Yes. The same way the water inside our body undergo this phenomena. So water gets out from inside the cell, outside the cell. So we are increasing water in our extracellular fluid. Yes. This cause uh, induced uh, somehow a disturbance in our behavior. They noticed the, the incidence of divorce is very high, of accident and anger. In this period. In this period. So subhanAllah, when Allah is, uh, it's like when not mandatory, it is recommended to, to pass the 13, 14, and 15. Yes. This is part of restoring the, the balance of human beings. Yes. And not only this, you have the cupping also on the uh, 17th, 19th, and 21st. Uh, it is recommended to undergo cupping, you know, uh, yes. uh, hijama or hijama, cupping. Yes. Uh, this is because they said all. But it's not also on the period of the moon. It's not 13, 14, after, 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 after the moon. After the moon. Seventh. Yeah, the all the residuals and all uh, uh, whatever is uh, left over of uh, our food, you know, whatever is toxins, are accumulated under the skin. So when you perform hijama, you get rid of it. But is the cupping uh, uh, recommended for every month or like for every longer period? Well, uh, we have uh, uh, two types of cupping uh, whenever you are in need of it. Yes. This is when you're sick, so there is no special time for it. You have a headache, you have whatever pain yes. somewhere, then you, uh, uh, you, ha you undergo the cupping. And another one is the preventive cupping is on the, uh, as we said, the 17, 21, uh, uh, um, 19th and 21. This is so preventive, nice. preventive one. Yes. Wh whenever you feel like uh, doing it, it, it has a, there is no regular, no uh, regular timing. Regular timing yes. Yeah, but it's, it's preventive because you get rid of, you detoxify your body in another way. So uh, that's beautiful and easy ways for detox because yeah. people are now doing a lot of harder ways, like not eating for three weeks, for example. No, we don't. We, we really give uh, things that uh, that how to detoxify. You grass juice, our action, you know, yes, yes. whatever is natural. But especially these are good for detoxification. And uh, grass, they uh, grass now actually they let grow the whole uh, whole wheat for instance, and they make like grass from, from it or whole barley, mm -hmm. and they let it grow, and yes. then they, they juice the the grass. And actually, there are pills for detoxification uh, called uh, weed trap. This is what I recommend from the alternative point of view. Yes. Uh, another aspect also is uh, this is from the chakras. Uh, I would like to highlight that Subhanallah, we have seven chakras, as we know, uh, seven centers of energy in our body. Yes. This is built by a special apparatus, of course. And the second chakra, uh, we have two locations: the location of faith and the location of uh, sexual uh, relation, uh, sexual desire. So when the Prophet ﷺ recommended say, من ستع منكم البيئة فليتزوج ومن لم يستطع فليهطم That means whoever is able uh, and can cope with marriage, then let him uh, get married. And whoever cannot uh, abstain, uh, cannot get married, then he should fast. 
So subhanAllah, why? Because the two they are located in the same area. Area. Yeah. So you when you over eat, subhanAllah, you increase your sexual desire. When you uh, abstain from eating and drinking and etc., you reduce uh, your. So it's correlated. It's correlated because uh, amazing, really. And whoever is was saying this was not Muslim. Because when we he heard was that, was announcing this, subhanAllah, and he didn't know the hadith. Yes, that's amazing. And when I said the hadith, he said, wow, 14 centuries ago, the Prophet ﷺ predicted this, and he had the knowledge about it. And this perception is uh, uh, it's something that uh, gives the meaning. So fast is deprived. Yes. Uh, not, not about, uh, you know, the relation, the correlations of, uh, of uh, biochemistry. So yeah, uh, that, that's, that's, that's amazing. Uh, here another uh, impact of fasting on the whole uh, the whole body. Yes. We have a phenomena named as migration motion complex. What this phenomena happens at 12 hours after uh, stopping eating, you know, and then we have like the, uh, the digestive, the colon, and uh, the, the uh, all this area is empty completely. Then uh, a phenomena starts called migration motion complex, which is a contraction of the intestine, of the intestine, yes. and uh, it plays the role of a housekeeper. SubhanAllah, cleansing all the residuals. So this ha is contraction, and this is responsible of the hunger. Yeah, self -cleaning. And it is responsible of the hunger pain. You know what, the, the, the baby cries because he's hungry. SubhanAllah, this because of the, the contraction. The under that happens. That happens. And subhanAllah, the moment you start to eat, it stops. So like Allah has provided you a housekeeper, natural housekeeper, for subhanAllah, and a, a way to cleanse your intestines. That's really at amazing. Least, yes. At least w once yearly. Yes, it's, it's really amazing. amazing. Uh, if, if, if I may ask you about the long hours of fasting for certain countries, like Australia, for example, they have longer hours than 12 yes. hours. It can extend up to 18 hours sometimes. Yes. Uh, so, how are you seeing this you know, long period? Is it something good for the body or the office? No, because I've studied the Sharia, you know, and we rely on another opinion. An opinion saying that if it is like too long days, beyond the, let's just say, 12 hours on this, we go back to uh, the, the time uh, 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 of, uh, of uh, fasting according to Makkah and Medina. Yes. We, re we, re we resort to this. Because like this is a moderate timing for uh, for uh, and this is exaggerating yes. uh, beyond the capacity of human beings. Yes. So they they should break their fast according to Mecca and Mecca, Mecca time and not to the uh, not to uh, the, the, the the timing. The timing the for yeah. Dr. Magda so Amr, this will be much easier for them. Dr. Then, Dr. Magda Amr, at the end, I'd like to thank you very much thank for you all very of these valuable information and insights. I had a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Let's move on to this upcoming story and we're turning back to them.